Hi, I'm Roger Bouchard from Brocade. I'm a global solutions architect specializing in SAN security and uh, encryption solutions. Uh, so what I'll be talking to you about today is uh, how do you uh, go about choosing an encryption solution that fits for your organization requirements. Uh, so first of all, um, let's take a look at why you need to actually even consider encryption to begin with. Uh, so, of course, there's some compliance reg and, and legislative uh, um, uh, reasons why you want to do that. So, there's, there's certain compliance requirements. So, for example, PCI, the payment card industry, uh, has requirements of protecting uh, confidential uh, credit card information and sensitive credit card information. And, of course, the other, the other obvious one is just simply uh, doing your due diligence and making sure you don't become a headline. Uh, like a whole bunch of other companies have. So uh, the best way to, pre to prevent that really is by addressing the encryption of your data at rest. Specifically, uh, we've heard a lot of cases of tapes falling off the uh, proverbial uh, delivery truck. And of course, uh, this is the, 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 one of the biggest breaches of security as far as data at rest is concerned. So you need to protect uh, different types of data uh, personally identifiable information, for example, uh, personal house records, and of course credit card information, other financial records. Uh, so those those are big targets typically uh, from from a hacker's perspective. So uh, protecting the data at rest really uh, pertains to data that moves away from a secure facility. Uh, tapes, of course, are the first ones that you, you would think of uh, since they're you know, fairly easily imagined as a, imagine as a mobile media uh, since you, you typically take backup tapes and then send them off site and leaving the secure facility in doing so. Uh, but I think an important thing to consider is what about disk uh, as well? We don't normally think of disk drives as a mobile media uh, like we do with tapes. Uh, but consider this, uh, what happens in the event of a uh, disk drive going bad in a disk array? Uh, what happens in that case? Well, you call your vendor and you say, I've got a bad drive, uh, and then come in and fix it or take a look at it. So really what happens in that case is that they will come in, the vendor will come in, take the disk drive, take it out, and then replace it with a new one. Of course, what happens with the old drive is they walk away with it as well. So a media that we don't normally consider as being mobile really has become mobile. And it is going to be mobile, but probably at less greater frequency, but it still contains production data. And it has left a secure facility. So customers, um, some of our customers, what they're, they're doing to address that issue is uh, simply uh, have an agreement with the vendor that they have to destroy the disk and they pay a premium to do that. So an alternative to doing this, which is very expensive by the way, uh, is to simply encrypt the data. Once a sensitive data is encrypted, even though the vendor walks away with the, the bad disk, which still contains production data, uh, there's no longer a risk of a security breach because that data is protected. So, so those are really the things to consider. So you, you do need to consider both the tape media and the disk media at some point uh, down the road. Uh, you cannot ignore uh, one or the other. Both are very important to consider. So the solution that you need to adopt uh, um, when you are talking about encrypting data at rest has to address both the disk and the tape uh, solution. So there are a lot of point solutions out there uh, available. So for example, you have a solution that will address specifically tape encryption. Uh, you have encrypting tape drives, and they're very good solutions. However, they only address one part of the problem. Uh, and perhaps you may be funded for that particular project today, but at some point down the road, you will probably have to deal with the other piece as well. You will have to deal with both disk and tape encryption at some point. Uh, so it, you might, might as well go with the, the solution that will allow you to do both the disk and the tape encryption right off the start. Um, the other point, of, of course, to consider is performance. I think that's probably when you're talking about, um, well, we now have the requirement to do encryption. Uh, we have to go ahead and do this no matter what. Um, uh, the next thing that comes to mind is what will be the penalty it to to our production environment in terms of deploying the solution. So uh, two broad categories, software-based encryption, hardware-based encryption. Uh, Software-based encryption are typically a little bit less expensive. However, the biggest drawback is the performance and the impact uh, on the production applications. Um, Hardware-based encryption typically is a little bit more expensive. However, uh, the, uh, of course, the performance impact is much uh, less. Actually, it's negligible in a lot of cases uh, since uh, we do wire speed encryption. Uh, so in that case, um, 
you want to be considering a, a, a solution that has the least impact on production. Your applications, the users using the applications will not notice that you've actually turned on encryption. Uh, so that, I think that is one of the big points to, to remember. Uh, the other uh, thing, of course, you want to remember is um, I don't really know what my um, uh, vendor is going to be down the road. Uh, and my typical environment today may be a homogeneous environment with only one vendor on the floor, but that doesn't mean that that will always be the case. And my experience, though, however, you know, seems to be that most customers, large enterprise customers, have a mix of different vendors uh, out there. Uh, they'll have uh, one vendor is their primary storage vendor, but they'll have one application or a couple of servers that um, are still using some legacy uh, storage vendor uh, for whatever reasons. Um, so you're, you're typically going to have a mix. So ideally, you want to have one solution that addresses all of your problems. If you have um, uh, to encrypt disk on one vendor, then you need to encrypt disk on another vendor, then you have two different solutions. Uh, so this is one of the really good advantages of the solution that Brocade proposes, uh, which is a fabric-based encryption solution. So not only does it address the tape encryption problem, it also addresses the disk encryption problem and vice versa. Uh, so you can have one convenient centralized solution that will address both the tape and disk encryption problem, but also from a disk perspective or tape perspective, whether you have LTO2 or LTO3 or even LTO4 on the floor today or, or some other vendor's uh, uh, tape uh, device, uh, then the Brocade solution will work with all of those uh, existing devices. You don't have to rip and replace your existing infrastructure, your, your, your backup infrastructure, for example, uh, to get the new uh, to-do encryption. Uh, same thing on the disk uh, side. If you have a multi-vendor environment uh, or, or plan on, on perhaps having a, a multi-vendor environment at some point, uh, then again, you don't have to get a different encryption solution for each vendor, uh, you can have one solution that will uh, be able to perform the encryption on all of your vendor's solutions on the floor. Uh, so I think the bottom line is you, you want to have some kind of flexibility, you want to think long term, uh, you want to be address, uh, able to address all of the different problems even though today uh, there's probably only one problem that might stick out and that you're funded, uh, but you do have to consider in the long term uh, what um, uh, are going to be the ultimate company's requirements from a, a data at rest encryption perspective. Uh, so the idea is let's keep it simple. If you have one encryption solution to address all of your problems, then it's a lot simpler to manage. And, and frankly, these encryption solutions are quite complex. They will add some, some uh, management and operational overhead uh, to a certain extent. Uh, they certainly add a lot of complexity as well. Uh, so you want to minimize this complexity and make things as simple as possible. Thank you.